welcome to Reggio Emilia Engineering uh, to the third uh, appointment uh, of this uh, talk called Design is a Conversation. Please uh, give a round of applause to Fabrizio Pierandrei. Thank you. Please ask questions and uh, interrupt as much as you yeah, want. Have, and sorry, he has have, a tool for that. Yes, for this you can shoot me. If you have a question, you can shoot me. This is the gun. And here there are some bullet here first of all thank you for the invitation we want to know what is design so i give you my personal today special like in a normal trattoria uh, very genuine ingredient and homemade uh, recipe let's start saying very simply that design is a con is conversation okay to manage the conversation a uh, designer has to manage two aspects to be able to understand who are the actors of this conversation and mastering the tools which are enabling him to understand uh, uh, and to analyze and to get result out of the conversation. His activity is really do, to do something physical by, uh, by means of getting connection, especially with people. We tend to uh, not consider the, the meaning of the word design, which is uh, in Italiano progettare, that is from the Latin to think ahead. If we want to see uh, three actions that are the classical action that uh, show how the designer works to create these values, which is the ability to see the reality, the context, so vedere, uh, the ability to foresee, so the ability of understanding a little bit what could be uh, the, 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 the future and the ability of uh, to show in the end. No, no one is shooting to me, I'm kind of worried. No question? You want to? <laughs> She's my student so I can shoot them back. in order to see and in order to also to foresee as you are. How you work just to distinguish the, the details that make the difference to work on uh, the emotional impact. I want your opinion on this uh, design consultancy type of uh, interaction. Usually we say uh, that what can be very inspiring for, for uh, the design could be the vision on uh, uh, the behavior, the behavior of people. Again, people in the center. Okay. Design could influence behavior. So this is a sort of uh, feedback method in which design and behavior could be influenced each other. If you want to face design project that has such a complexity, you need to have a lot of skills within the same group. Let's say that one of the main characteristics is this holistic approach, this ability of connecting with other disciplines and with other professionals also. This ability to speak different languages. And probably uh, this ability is the one that can really create a value that is related to the innovation. By including more people in the process, design could be the activity that can uh, foster co-creation. I think that through the possibility of developing stories, to tell the stories in different ways and uh, effective stories, design could really uh, legitimate, instruct and persuade for a behavioral change, which actually I think is by far what we need most now, the change. Okay. Thank you very much. a lot to speak with engineers but because I think that the two professions can be not only very integrated but they complete each other. When we are talking about T-shaped professional I think that probably uh, the engineer sometimes is too vertical and the designer is too horizontal and probably together they are the perfect T. 